Hi guys, it's Amy. Today I'm going to show you what you need to do differently to chip it close from an uphill lie where the left foot is high. So on a chip shot like this, the most frequent question I get asked is whether you have to match your shoulders to the ground parallel like this. Uh, when the left foot is high, you really don't want to match your shoulders to the ground. The main reason why you don't want to match your shoulders to the ground is because when you're on an uphill like this, the most important point you need to remember is to not lose your weight into the right foot because of the gravity is pulling you from this side. If you match your shoulders and there is higher chances you're gonna lose your balance to the right and you're gonna have a hard time getting back to the golf ball. So what ends up happening is you're gonna use your arms to pull your body through and you're either going to hit it thin or fat. So you really need to maintain that weight in the left really nicely and the shoulders Doing this is not gonna help that, right? So you want your shoulders like as if you're on a normal flat surface. Okay, so a couple things in the setup. You're going to do everything the same as if you're on a flat surface except for a few things. So because we don't want to lose our balance into the right, we're gonna have to put more pressure in the left foot. So we're gonna put about 70% or so in the left foot and maintain that in the backswing. We're gonna have a narrower stance because the reason behind standing with narrow stance is to prevent weight shift from happening, right? So weight on the left, narrower stance. And wow. when you hit, what happens is the ball's gonna pop up higher. So it's gonna fly a little bit shorter. And when it lands, it's gonna run out a little less. So with the same swing, it's going to go short. So you either have to pick one of the two, either swing bigger, like here, I'm gonna have to land at 10 yards, but I'm gonna have to swing as if I'm hitting a 15 yard shot. Or you can switch clubs and go less lofted club. Like right now I have a 58 degree. You could go to the next one up, which is for me 52 degree gap wedge and hit it just normal as if you're hitting a 58 degree 10 yard shot. Okay, you just have to pick one. I'm gonna go with the 58 degree and with a little bigger swing. One more thing. On an upslope like this, what happens is the water runs from high spot to a lower spot, right? So when the water keeps running down the hill like this, what happens is the blades tend to go with the direction the water runs. So when I'm standing here, a lot of the times you are hitting into the grain. So when you're hitting into the grain, what happens is the club gets caught and the ball comes up very hot because of that impact, right? Or even if it's not into the grain because of the slope, and if you have thick blades, then your club can get really stuck in the ground. So when the left foot is high, you really want to kind of avoid having that hot contact at impact. So what I do is I relax my grip ever so slightly and I relax my wrist. So I'm basically just using weight of the club pad and the momentum of the downswing speed to hit the ball, okay? So I'm going to relax at impact. So I'm trying to avoid any of that hot contact because that's really going to shoot the ball forward and you're gonna go through the green, okay? All right, so let's try. Weight on the left, 70%, narrow stance, ball position is the same, left of the middle, choke down. I'm gonna make a bigger swing, relax hands at impact. Oh. Did you hear that light click at impact? The sound was a lot softer because I relaxed my hands at impact and I really want you to try and get used to that because that's really going to help you on a left foot high upslope chip shots. So when the left foot is high, please remember that you don't want to lose your weight to the right. So put extra weight in the left foot, narrow stance, bigger backswing or less lofted club and relax your hands through the impact area. If you have any questions, please come visit Ask Amy section and leave your questions there. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.